Good morning, good evening, good night, regardless of where you are. So I just want to go over real quick about labs, right? So when you're getting started in IT or you've been in IT or you're trying to advance to a new career, get a higher level, you need to have a way to learn, right? So you need to learn the information. So if you want to become a Linux engineer, cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, whatever it is you're trying to do in IT, you need an environment to learn your craft, right? So now one of the things that you'll see many people do is they talk about the free tier, AWS free tier, Google Cloud free tier, et cetera. But the problem with those free tiers is they run out, right? So I, I got my screen up here. So let me show you something, right? So this is inside of the uh, Linux certificate. And, and this is one of the things that you'll see. So let me go ahead and go down to the lab setup option, right? So let me show you this. So many people don't teach this to many people, but it's okay, right? I'm going to make sure that you know. So here's the thing. If you want to use Volter, Akamai, which used to be Linode, DigitalOcean, you can use those free tiers, but they're going to run out, right? They're not permanent. They're not going to last forever, baby. <laughs> you know, so when you're serious about really understanding, you want to you want to set up, you know, some servers, some databases, some uh, networking configurations. There may be some AWS specific tools that you want to use. If you want to just go and log in and use those tools and services just for those things, that's fine. But regular, like like a Linux person, like stuff like systems administration or deploying databases, migrating databases, upgrading databases uh, on PostgreSQL or Oracle or SQL Server or MariaDB, whatever the database is, right? Or standing up web servers, uh, Apache Tomcat, and you know how to configure and install Ansible and Terraform, and all these different things. You can use that on the home lab. You really can, right? So VMware ESXi is gone. Broadcom killed that. You can't use free VMware anymore. But you do have Proxmox. You do have Open Nebula. And here's the thing. It's like, okay, well, all right, Shay, that sounds good. But, you know, how do I get that stuff running? Number one, when I first got started out, I bought a used laptop, right? Don't go out and buy no Mac, Apple. I, I'm about to go on IT. I'm going to go buy a, a $1,500, $1,000 laptop. That's a huge investment, and you're just getting started, right? To this day, I buy used laptops. <laughs> Because they're cheaper, right? I don't listen. When you learn a skill, use the skill. Don't be foolish, right? So some people say, "Oh, what about support and stuff like that?" That's why you're an IT person. Support your own stuff, right? So anyway, um, and there's different debates on that. So anyway, I, you want support? You want to pay for support? More power to you. Okay, but anyway, so here's like an option, right? So as you can see on the screen, there's a bunch of different options for used laptops. Also. If you want to buy a Linux laptop out the box, right, it's there. It's available. It's multiple companies that will sell you Linux out the box and provide you support. Um, if you want to have a virtualized environment similar to VMware, then Proxmox, Open Nebula, um, Open Nebula is a perfect solution to be able to learn virtualization and migrating VMs and all the other stuff. Um, but here's the thing. You don't want to be stuck focused on just the cloud platforms. You want to learn how to use these application stacks. You want to do that on home lab. So you need a server, right? You're going to need a server because you can only do so much on a laptop. And then you need a router. You need a switch. You need to do some simulations. You might want to figure, try to figure out how to migrate a virtual machine to the cloud, which is something that you'll do in the real world. So if you got equipment on site on your, in, in your home lab, in a safe way, in a safe environment, in a home office, then you can do that, right? And you're not going to pay for it. <laughs> you're not going to be paying money to test stuff in your home lab. So so here's the thing. You don't have the meter running. That's that's what I mean. You you pay for the equipment, but you don't have the meter running for everything you do. So let's take a look, right? So this is Renew. And, and with eBay, you don't want to buy stuff from anyone that has less than like maybe a thousand purchases, right? Um, it's just... Eh, you're really taking a risk with someone that is a new seller. So just be careful. Anyway, so I've been using eBay since 2006, 2007. So just FYI. So renew it. Renew. I'm just putting ones that I know for a fact are legit, right? So you can go get a look. look this is the i7 with 32 gigs, $284, right? So some people say, oh, my God, that's great. Yeah, it's refurbished, right? If it arrives, it's got some dings and dents and scratches. It's not brand new. Who cares, right? Because your focus is on learning the information. You're not. You're not trying to be 
cute and beautiful, stick some stickers on it if you're that worried about it, right? If it's that big of a deal, put a sticker on it, okay? Another one, real cheap option, Nurtech, right? <laughs> 161000 right? So, for example, let's just look at, and this is what I mean by you might have some challenges, right? Like this one, it, it's got a couple keys missing, right? But it's 100 bucks, okay? <laughs> Uh, i7 processor, older model of i7, but it's still i7, right? And 16 gigs of RAM. So if you want to look around and, and find something that's a little better looking, uh, might run you, it's definitely going to run you more than $100. Uh, something less than that, 15 inch, but don't get a monitor that's less than 15 inch. It's going to be too small, right? Just to, to try to see the orientation of the screen. I, I really don't recommend anyone using anything less than the 15 inch uh, monitor. So beside that, once you get the laptop ironed out and you buy it, if you need to fix something, fix it. You need to change the RAM, upgrade the RAM, or or upgrade the SSD hard drive. Everything's working. You can boot to the BIOS, download an ISO file, configure it, set it up. Boom. Now your laptop's ready to go, right? Get you a cheap monitor, uh, used monitor online, Nurtech, Renew, one of, the, one of these other companies. Get it off of eBay or something. Get a used monitor for like $30, $40. You can find used monitors for cheap, right? You don't need to spend a thousand dollars on on a laptop and a second monitor and a keyboard, right? You can do it if you're smart. If you take the time to do a little research, you might spend less than three, four hundred bucks. Just use your brain, right? And, and don't burn money. It's not necessary, you, especially if you're new to IT. You don't have a job yet, and if you have a job, don't burn a whole bunch of money yet because you need to get that promotion. <laughs> Just be smart. Anyway, so now to the servers, right? So servers. Networking, for the networking side, you need a router and switch, right? For so many different things. So use servers. You can go to useservers.com. Uh, I got a whole list there, and I'll put the list. So you have PC server and parts. You've got um, uh, the server store. You've got server monkey, uh, NSL, new server life, where you can buy it, configure it, you know, to what you need. And like I said, you can always buy hard drives and memory. So you don't need to buy that directly from anyone. You can buy that in so many different places. You can buy hard drives and memory, right? Or graphic cards or, or uh, you know, any and networking cards, et cetera. So don't worry about that stuff. But if you want to buy it from them, go ahead and do it, right? So that it's ready to go when it arrives at your house. Uh, Tech Mike New York is, is, is another one. Very reliable, very good, and been around for a while, right? Another one is Save My Server. So all of these links are going to be there. So now... The networking stuff, and I've purchased directly from two run it. I mean, they're not endorsing me or anything like that. I just purchased uh, some hardware from them years ago, right? Like five, six, maybe seven, maybe maybe longer. Maybe it was a long time. It was a long, long time ago. But it worked very well, right? Router and switch. I got some cables from a uh, uh, from a website where they had they sell cables and got it set up, got it configured, got it running, and and that's when I first started learning uh cisco ccna on these server racks right now, i'm not saying you have to be learning cisco ccna but you need to know how to deal with routing and switching right how to how to create vlans how to you know tag and all this other stuff all of this stuff ties to it so if you think i'm going to be a cloud engineer or a linux engineer or a uh in any any level of engineer that you're going to be dealing with cloud or cybersecurity or, or or linux and you think you don't need to know any networking you're out of your mind right anybody that tells you that is a fool because unless you're going to just be a paper pusher, like from a cybersecurity side, like a GRC person, um, then, yeah, maybe you can slide by without having a whole lot of hands on technical knowledge. But at some point, somebody's going to ask you a question and they want to know and they want you to explain it. And if you can't explain it because you didn't take the time to learn, at some point, you're going to get pushed to the side. Right. And, and somebody's going to eat your lunch. <laughs> so just skill up and learn. So. That's a little orientation of how to get a cloud home lab set up. I'm going to get into maybe some technical side of how to you know, configure and set up Linux and make it into a professional grade level to actually do actual real world, uh, real work. But for now, that's just the hardware side. That's how to buy the laptop cheap, that how to buy a server inexpensive and how to buy some networking equipment without, you know, buy, <laughs> breaking the bank and, and, and selling your arm and your leg and, and the baby too. All right, so more to come, and yeah, let's 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 dig into it some more. Okay, talk to you soon. Peace.